Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for today's video. My name is David and this channel is Demars Coaching. I make a lot of videos about narcissistic personality disorder and other mental illness and how to recover from things like this. Today's video is inspired by a subscriber's question in my weekly question and answer videos. Any of you guys have questions like this or you want to uh, want me to make a video about something you can ask there every Monday. So Rory from Ohio asked a question about the collapsed narcissist. Is it like when the mask slips? Uh, the term when the mask slips um, is, is addressing when a narcissist's false narrative about themselves, they can no longer keep it up and someone close enough to them sees their true self. It is a lot like that. Sure. It's, it's a component of the collapsed narcissist. Um, it's about dependency. When we talk about codependency and what are we dependent on? It's good to know what your abuser was dependent on you for. So you can be careful next time to also understand what it was, what was going on. So it's about dependency and keeping up the false confidence of the narcissist. It's about the narcissist rejecting their true self, which causes tons of shame. And it's about a fragile ego that's determined and decided by us, other people. That's what makes it fragile. The narcissist's biggest pain and loss is their true self growing up, not developing that true self being rejected. Either it's rejected by the parents or by themselves. The caretakers rejected it and so do they. It, it's not a um, known fact or agreed upon exactly how someone develops this disorder, but it is in development. Okay, and all three factors do matter. Um, your culture, your genetics, and your family upbringing. And totally different ways parents can create or develop their child into having this disorder. And one is like over overdoing it too much or which would be really not it's not over meeting their emotional needs it's it's over focusing on their ego or it's just absolute abuse and neglect and they develop their ego to protect them but the true self is never developed and it causes tons of shame okay very very important but caretakers build this ego up and they create it or they created their ego to never be hurt again. A narcissist enters their adulthood saying, I will never, ever allow someone to hurt me again. And this is how you never have a functioning relationship again. You can never be vulnerable. They overcompensate for their insecurities and their shame. They're dependent on people to support their ego and their false confidence, which makes it fragile. They cannot tolerate or accept being average. That's the overcompensating. The biggest misconception of narcissists is that they're confident. It's the biggest misconception of all. I've gotten in arguments about it. That people just, no, you're wrong, David. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. I know someone with the disorder and they're so confident. It's about the relationship, okay, that the narcissist has. A relationship that typically is kind of long-term. They became deeply attached and very dependent on them. They end up losing you. It's over. Typically, you ended it. Okay. It, it could be a, a couple different things I'll get into. But it's because of something they did. It's no longer can they ignore it. They can no longer shift blame because you don't take the responsibility of it. They have nobody else to blame but themselves. They cannot look at themselves. They cannot make themselves feel better. And it causes major depression. The collapse is depression. The ego collapses and they are left again feeling the pain of losing their self a long time ago. Okay? It, it, it's the same as loss. Married to someone forever and they're gone. I'm stuck with myself. This is what the narcissist doesn't want. Okay? Humiliation is a good cause. Failure is a good cause. These expose narcissists. It makes the narcissistic defenses no longer work. Like I said, they can't blame you. They can't overcompensate anymore. The false confidence no longer works. Depression, shame, anxiety causes them to be unable to function any longer. That's it. They can't function in life. They can't function in this relationship they have with you. 
and they can be very dangerous to themselves and others at this point, okay? Narcissists are extroverts. A lot of you guys, a lot of people, not you guys, but people in general, don't really understand the difference between introversion and extroversion. It's, it, it's where you get your energy from, okay? I, I very much like going out in public a lot. I like going out, I like groups of people, stuff like this, but I have to go home. I have to be by myself. I find my energy by myself. Some people like to read books, watch things on TV, write, sleep, nap, exercise alone, take lonely walks, bike rides, stuff like this. This is, means you find your energy by yourself. Narcissists are 100% extroverts, 100%. They find their energy and everything else they need from other people, okay? So the covert victim begins again, since they're now collapsed alone, person left them, failed, now they do because because narcissists vacillate between covert and overt there's no narcissist that's just one or just the other okay you have one that's more covert and every once in a while they're over they vacillate you have one that's very overt but will also vacillate to being covert especially in a time like this no matter what the narcissist was now they resort back to the covert victim the innocent helpless covert victim begins again to influence vulnerable people like you to obtain energy again and start again to gain false confidence again that's what's happening okay the narcissist puts all their chips into one relationship over time they've become so dependent on you to gain confidence to talk them up support them through their bs that they tell you about right and they do something to fail harm hinder this relationship hurt it and they lose someone they lose the person, the source of energy. Do you see that? Um, people have different names for that. I've heard. But where they find their own energy from other people to build up their confidence, their fake confidence, which defends them and protects their inner true self that they were rejected and they're completely ashamed of. When they're back in this and stuck with that themselves, all that pain comes up, lifelong pain comes up, causes massive depression and anxiety, and they no longer can function. They may take their own life, they may hurt other people, but they have to start over again as the poor helpless victim, trying to influence some of you to feel sorry for them, to help them, and they will use you and step all over you and walk all over you until they finally have the energy and the confidence again, and they'll find somebody else better. Not a better human being to them, because that's how they think. Someone better, someone higher status to build up more confidence. You can decide which one you were, okay? Um, and that's why a narcissistic rebound is dangerous as hell. If you're a rebound for a narcissist, they're going to just trample all over you. You're just a stepping stone to get back up where they were. Let me know what you guys think. Ask questions. Let me let me help you understand this better. Add your own information. Help me understand it better. Um, but most of all, I just love your guys' examples and advice if you feel comfortable sharing them. And if you want to support this video, you can vote up. You can share it with somebody else and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. Um, thanks, guys. More than anything, be sure to love yourself first. Bye.